So today I'm going to be doing this Gotcha Life mini movie called I'll Never Be Her and this story is by Lily Cheska MSP so I will have the original in the description down below. I am here with Nate. Thank you so much for joining me today. Yeah, no problem. How's it going everybody? So I will have his social media links in the description down below. Definitely go ahead and check him out but he's going to be doing the guys today so let's go ahead and check out this story. Oh, by the way, we're only going to be doing half of the video so if you want to see a part two, let us know in the comments down below. Are you sure? Of course. You look perfect. He's going to be so happy to see you surprise him. Thanks, Gwen. No problem, Heidi. Now go and surprise your man. Uh, here goes nothing. And also tell me when the lit when the later when the weddings wait what? When the weddings later too. Yes. <laughs> the grammar again. Mwah. And also tell me when the wedding is. Uh, the what? Nothing. Bye. Happy one year anniversary, babe. This is the first of many happy years to come. I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you. Here, I even got you some flowers and chocolate. Uh, oh, he's not here? Maybe he's in his bedroom. Happy one year anniversary, babe. Uh, oh, he's not here either. Please don't tell me I came to surprise him while he's on the toilet. I did, didn't I? Now what? I'll just wait for him to finish. Wait, I know. I'll hide in the closet and jump out to surprise him when he finishes. <laughs> <gasps> That's him! He just walked into the room! Time to jump out and scare the socks off of him! Mm -hmm. Surprise! Oh. Uh, Tristan! Uh, Millie! Uh, Heidi, I thought you had work today. I did, but I called off sick so I could surprise you! Because today is our one year anniversary! I even got you flowers and a box of chocolates, hoping we could have a movie night together! But no! Instead, I come to find you cheating on me with my best friend uh, babe it's not what it looks like uh, it's exactly what it looks like why else would you be kissing millie Ugh. <laughs> how could you do this to me i trusted you both and millie you're supposed to be my best friend we've known each other since middle school you knew how much i loved him well clearly he didn't love you the same way back or else he wouldn't have been cheating on you with me for the past five months. Uh, no, I haven't. She's lying, I swear. <gasps> Save it. Here's your stinking flowers and your stupid box of chocolates. Uh, I hope to never see either of you ever again. Uh, you know what? I want my chocolates back. So much for our one year anniversary. Today was the day we started our relationship and it's the day I ended it. I, uh... We're over. Goodbye. That was quick. So, how'd it go? Uh, terrible! I hope I never see that jerk again! Why? What happened? Heidi! <laughs> Put this away! <laughs> How could he? After all we've been through together! He was my first crush, my first boyfriend, my first everything! And he promised he'd never hurt me! went and threw away our whole friendship like it was nothing. Why would any of them do this? How could they? Uh, I'm going, you stupid car! Uh, today was supposed to be a happy day, but now all I'm gonna do is spend the rest of it crying myself to sleep in my old car. Isn't life just bloody fantastic? Huh? Uh, seriously, if that's Tristan... Uh, huh? I just found out what he did. I'm so sorry, Heidi. Oh, it's just Gwen. Are you okay? Where did you even run off to? You don't have anywhere to go. Please don't tell me you're planning on living in your car for the next month. So what if I am? She can't tell me what to do. <laughs> <laughs> wow, my head hurts like crazy. What even happened last night? Wait, where even am I? This isn't my house. Hello? Ah, oh, I see you're awake. Uh, uh, get away from me! Uh, Who are you and where am I? Am I being kidnapped? Uh, 
Uh, what? No, no, uh, definitely not. Uh, well, my name is Joaquin, and you sort of hit into my car yesterday. And when I went to see whether you were okay, I found you fainted in the front seat. And so I took you to the hospital, and thankfully you were okay with no injuries. Then you, they told me that you didn't need to be in the hospital anymore, and you could go home. But since I don't know where you lived, or who you were, I just took you back home with me and put you on my couch. That's not creepy at all. And so that's why you're here, and we're sleeping on the couch. Oh my gosh! I'm so sorry for everything! I'll make sure to pay for the hospital bill and any damage done to your car! Uh, no, no, please, don't worry. You most certainly don't have to do that. And there wasn't really much damage done to my car anyways, other than a flat tire. Oh, that's good then. Wait! What happened to my car then? Uh, uh well... <laughs> uh... Oh, my car! How did this happen? I'm not sure. I guess the force from the car crash was just too much for your car to take. But the car was all I had! <laughs> hey, uh, whoa, whoa uh, are you okay? Does it look like I'm okay? I broke up with my boyfriend yesterday because he cheated on me with my best friend! But since he's the one who owns our apartment, I obviously can't stay there anymore. So my initial plan was to live in my car for the meantime till I earn enough money for rent for an apartment. But now my car is destroyed, so I have nowhere to go! My car's gone! My boyfriend's gone! I have nothing anymore and I'm homeless too! The only person I have left is my best friend, but she lives in a completely different town! My life is so screwed! Oh my gosh, oh, I'm so sorry. I'm really bugging a stranger and telling them my whole life story. I'm so sorry for bothering you and wasting your time, Joaquin. I'll leave you alone and get going now. Bye. Uh, wait, wait. Huh? You're not bothering me at all. If you have nowhere to go, like you said, it would be wrong for me to just let you leave and end up homeless. I mean, I have three bedrooms back in my house. You can most surely stay in one of them for the time being while you find your own apartment. Really? But why? I'm a stranger. Everyone's a stranger when they first meet. I'm sure we'll become a lot closer later on. Thank you so much. And that was the day our relationship began. Initially, I was only planning on staying at his house for a few weeks. But soon, those few weeks turned into a few months. <laughs> Not because I hadn't been able to earn enough money to move out. I finally made enough money to get my own place. <gasps> I'm home! <Whoa. laughs> but instead, because Joaquin and I had become a lot closer while living together, I felt like I had some sort of relation to him and I didn't want to just leave like that. Are you sure you're okay? Positive. But your boyfriend cheated on you with Millie and Millie was the only friend you had that lives in your town. You technically have nowhere to go since Tristan owned the apartment you used to live in and Millie obviously won't let you live with her. Are you telling me you haven't been living in your car for the past few months? Oh gosh, no, of course not. I've just been staying with a friend these past few months. A uh, friend? Which friend? I thought Millie was the only friend you had that lived in your town. Well, she was, but I made a new friend. You wouldn't know him though. <gasps> him? It's a guy? Your new friend's a guy? Girl, give me the details. Uh, well, he's male. Yes, we've already addressed that, ma'am. If you could please elaborate further. Well, if we're talking about his physical characteristics, he has gorgeous chocolate brown hair, dreamy gray eyes, and he's just sort of really hot. Hey, I'm back from work. Oh, <laughs> hi. <laughs> oh my gosh, you're living with a hot guy? Oh, how have you even survived these few months? Oh, uh, one second. Oh, um, Hello! I'm back! So, who's this hot guy you're living with? Um, uh, no! This is wrong! I just got out of a relationship a few months ago! I'm not ready to get back into one yet! I don't want to be hurt again! So... Uh oh, you wouldn't know him! Uh oh, uh, well, since I'm back from work and have nothing to do, I wanted to ask if you have any plans for tonight. Well, I have to go to work for my night shift tonight, but I have five hours to spare until then. Great! Well, how about we watch a movie together then? A movie? Yeah, I heard watching movies with someone else can be... Well, it can help bring them closer together. Hmm, sure then. I don't see the harm in that. <gasps> I don't know how watching a horror movie can possibly bring two people closer together. Neither do I. Uh, oh my gosh, you idiot! Leave through the front door! No! Why would you go to the basement? No! Whoa. Uh, uh, okay... Now I can sort of see how it can bring two people closer together. <laughs> 
soon after that, we'd hang out every day before my work shift together. Mainly, we'd just watch movies. But sometimes we'd play video games. Like Roblox. Ooh. Take walks down the park together. And even go to restaurants with one another. I'm so lucky to have you as a friend. And we started considering each other as friends. Uh, that's it's a little bit more than friends at this point. Correction, best friend. And soon, best friends. But as for Tristan... I still hadn't completely gotten over him, of course. I was still sad because of him. Especially once I found out he and Millie started dating. He didn't deserve you in the first place. Huh? Your ex-boyfriend. You shouldn't be bothered over him. Instead, you should be glad you're away from that jerk. He didn't deserve you. You deserve much better than him. Someone who will make sure you to give you the respect you deserve. And not cheat on you with your best friend. You deserve the world, Heidi. You're worth a lot more than that stupid guy. Thanks, Joaquin. You're welcome. I'm off to work now. Bye! Bye. Uh. Three months later... This park is so gorgeous! The trees here are apparently over 100 years old, yet they look good as new! Isn't that crazy? <laughs> yeah, super crazy. Uh, Heidi, can we talk? Sure. What is it? Well, you've been living with me for six months now, and uh, I wanted to know whether you intend on moving out anytime soon, like you said you would. Or have you not been able to earn enough money to move out yet? <laughs> She's getting kicked out? It, it's funny, he really starts out this, this whole thing very wrong. I really like you, but when are you leaving? <laughs> yeah, what are you getting out of my house? <laughs> oh, no, I have. I have earned enough money to move out. And if that's what you want, then sure, I can move out and be gone by next week. No, no, that's not what I want. I just wanted to know if you were planning on moving out right now, so I could tell you not to if you were. <laughs> what? Why? Because I hope to spend the rest of my life with you. Heidi, will you be my girlfriend? That's something that they Wait. would say if you're yeah. gonna get married. Yeah, I was, okay, I was <laughs> expecting a Spend ring, not a bouquet of, of flowers. Yeah, I guess I guess uh, being a girlfriend or boyfriend in this world is very drastic because she was expecting to spend her whole life with her previous boyfriend and moved into an apartment together. Then she's been living with this guy, and I guess being a girlfriend means that, okay, yeah, that's a ring on it, basically, because he's, he's proposing, for one. Literally. <laughs> of course, yes! Oh. Heidi! I'm so happy to see you! I'm so happy to see you, too! Uh, hey, what's going on? Am I missing something? No, not at all! My best friend just came to visit me today! Ooh, who's he? It's Joaquin! Joaquin, meet my best friend Gwen! Gwen, meet my boyfriend Joaquin! Boyfriend? You're both dating? Yes! My ship has finally arrived! So, where's the baby? Oh my gosh, what? <laughs> what?! Okay, they I guess, yeah, a okay. a little too seriously. Yeah, there, that, I think we've confirmed that being a girlfriend in this world means that you were married and yes. dating for like a week, maybe at this point. Yeah, like, don't go this fast to real life. This is not real. <laughs> oh, okay, oh, she's she, gone now. She just threw her out. <laughs> Sorry about that. Where are the babies? You have an incredible boyfriend. We have amazing times together. For example, we'd go on picnics with each other, go on vacation together, and sometimes we just sit on his balcony and talk for hours together. This guy is loaded. It was all amazing. <laughs> Heidi? Why exactly are you walking in circles while frowning at the floor like a maniac? Because... Today's Joaquin and I's one year anniversary, and I want to go home and surprise him. Aw, oh, that's so cute. So why don't you? You know why? You can't bear for my heart to be broken again. Joaquin's a good guy. He wouldn't do that to you. That's what you thought about Tristan. Well, now I've changed my mind. What? <gasps> it's him. What did he say? Hey, babe, I'll be back home in a few more minutes. Then what are you doing standing here? Go home and surprise him. <laughs> He'll thank me later. Uh, a surprise. Happy one year anniversary, babe. I got you. Uh, he's not here. And it's been 30 minutes since he texted me he's saying he'd be back home i don't even want to search the other room there's no way i should just leave to avoid my heart being broken again i come to the balcony what the why did you tell me to come to the balcony oh hi there hattie happy one year anniversary <gasps> you you did this all for me well i'm not dating anyone else am i <gasps> thank you joaquin i love you so much i feel bad all I got you was a teddy bear. Yes, the cutest little teddy bear in the world. Plus, any gift from you will always be amazing. I love you. I love you too. Oh, and one more thing. Will you marry me? All right, there what? it is. Okay. Wait, they've been dating.
dating for six months. <laughs> I mean, no. I guess, I guess when you know, you know. But I mean, he technically already proposed once, so this is just I mean, the second time, I guess. <laughs> I want to spend the rest of my life with you just to date. Oh, by the way, let's get married immediately. <laughs> oh, yeah. no, wait, it's one year. That's still not enough time. Well, no, because she had been, actually, I guess, well, they've quote unquote been like friends or best friends, I guess, for six months, and then they've dated for a year. So I guess it's almost two years at this point. But even still, that's, that's still pretty I still don't quick. think that's yeah. enough time. <laughs> Exactly, you have two whole months left. You have time. No, I don't. I've been dress shopping for three months now and no dress is ever right on me. That's because you're way too picky. Picky? I'm not picky. I just want everything to be perfect. Exactly. You're picky. Ugh. Look, how about I pick out ten dresses from here? And you have to pick out one of the dresses out of the ten I pick and make it your wedding dress. Think as if those are the only ten dresses left on planet Earth and you have to only choose from them. <gasps> But no buts. Now you wait here until I pick out the dresses. Do it all. So I'm just supposed to stand here and wait in boredom? Uh, whatever. When have I ever listened to rules anyway? I'm going to help Gwen pick out my dresses. Ah! Oh, uh, I'm so sorry. Uh, Heidi? Wow, long time no see, huh? Yeah. So how have you been? Good. I've been good. How? Uh, how have you and Millie been? Uh, well, we're no longer dating. Really? Since when? A few months ago. <laughs> Tragic. So, what brings you here to a bridal shop? I'm getting married. Uh, you are? Congratulations. Thanks. So, what are you doing at a bridal shop, huh? Uh, oh, uh, I'm just looking at wedding dresses with my fiance. Your fiance? So that means he's been Wait, dating her okay. for less time. Yeah, she's been, he's they been, have been literally dating, dating oh my this goodness. for like four months, maybe? What? Okay, I okay, guess he everyone... said he broke up with her a few months ago, <gasps> and he's gonna marry someone after like three months. That, I, yeah, okay, I guess everything just moves way quicker in this world because that is ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, this guy what? moves quick. This guy moves quick. <laughs> Not a good sign. Red flags. Oh my gosh, babe, this dress is perfect. Huh, Heidi, what a surprise to see you here. I thought we're no longer dating because we're now engaged. Oh, I picked the dress. What are those two jerks doing here? I, I also just want to mention, like, this guy, he he knew what he was doing here, okay? Uh, like, trying like, to make no her jealous? no one talks like that. Like, oh, we're no longer dating because we're married. It's like, and not only that, but he carried on the conversation and didn't try to clarify at all. So this, this guy yeah, is, Yeah, giving oh her false gosh. hope that, like, oh, maybe now I can date him, like, because she's that desperate. <laughs> yeah, yeah, honestly, the fact that she's, like, just not ignoring this guy, and she has a fiancé at this point. Yeah, and she still cares, like, what he thinks. Honestly, guys, have some self-respect. <laughs> You're worth more than that. Today, we're just leaving. No, we weren't. Uh, yes, we were. Well, I'll see you around, Heidi. See you? What were they doing here? Getting married. Gross. Ugh. Two rats getting married together. They deserve each other, honestly. Now, come on. Go try the dresses I picked out for you. Uh, Heidi, you weren't actually bothered by them getting married, are you? Uh, no, of course not. I could hardly care about what those two jerks do with their lives. Good, because you remember you have a great fiance and a great life to look up to now. You shouldn't ever feel intimidated or bothered by those losers. I know. Now, go on. What are you waiting for? I have the dresses I picked out. You seriously didn't like any of the dresses? No. Gosh, you're really hard to impress. Well, my train leaves in 30 more minutes, so I gotta go now. Bye. Bye. See you next week. Uh, what in the world happened today? Why did I have to see Tristan again? What is wrong with me? Why am I even so bothered that I saw him again? I've already gotten over him since he cheated. Obviously not. I have a lover now. I'm getting married. We're starting a life together. Why do I even care about that stupid jerk? I'm over him. I have a new and better life with someone else now. My fiance is right outside that door to attest to that statement. Unless it's Tristan. Oh, <gasps> hey, Heidi. Okay, you guys, we're going to leave it off there. What is going to happen next? Let me know in the comments down below if you want us to do a part two. So this story was I'll Never Be Her, a Gotcha Life mini movie by Lily Trescott MSP. Of course, I will have the original in the description down below. Thank you so much to Nate for joining me today. Thank you for joining me. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> Thank you for having me. Thank you guys for watching the video. Oh, of course. So I will have his social media in the description down below. Definitely go ahead and check him out. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a like. And if you're new, subscribe to Come Be Mermaid or Mermaid.
man thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in my next video bye guys